Welcome back. You're watching Outlook TV. And in this next segment, we're putting our big Google Maps pin down on Toronto for a special walk down the rainbow carpet for the Inside Out Film Festival. Sounds delish. Hi, it's me, Rachel Railing, also known as Blair Ryder, and we're here at the Inside Out TV Film Festival to give you a sneak peek on what's popping in the city. So I am here with Silas, the director of A Kid Like Jake. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And by the way, my name's Blair Ryder. It is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Silas. So tell me how you came involved with this project, with this film. Um, you know, Jim Parsons' uh, company had optioned the screenplay, I mean, had optioned the play from Daniel Pearl, who's over there, who adapted it into a screenplay. And um, then they had Claire Danes attached, okay. and they were looking for a director, and um, they, they reached out to me, and I read the script, and yeah. I thought it was such an interesting take, you know, mm -hmm. for myself as a, a, a director who is also trans. I was really, in, it was... Um, interesting take in that, you know, Jake is at this age that's four and there's an ambiguity around mm -hmm. the gender experience. Like a genderless kind of thing. Yeah, like it's yeah. gender, but it's a genderless kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and is definitely going towards a, a feminine expression as a young boy. Mm -hmm. um, and then I thought it was just such a nuanced conversation. I was excited to, uh, to work with this cast and to work with Daniel's beautiful script. You know, I work with a lot of LGBT youth and, you know, a lot of the families that reject them out of fear. Exactly. You know, we have a lot of, we have a long way to go to try to, mm -hmm. like, heal that. And, you know, it's hard to get over rejection by family. Oh, it really... Yeah. It's the worst. It's the worst. And so anything we can do to sort of pull that back and role yeah. model, trying to be there for, you know, and feel good about it, mm -hmm. I, that would be an amazing... So great talking with you. I wanted to let you know when I was watching the trailer, I'm immensely proud of you. I don't even know you, oh, but you so I am so concerned. proud. Just like the idea and everything behind the film, I, in my own opinion, do believe that this will be one of the films to bridge a huge gap. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, Silas. It's been amazing. Talking to you. What was it like writing this when you were alone, solitary? Boom, boom, boom. What was it kind of like for you? to get inspired to actually put this onto paper. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's hot. writing's hard. Writing is, can be really hellish. Uh, and this started as a play. It was a play first um, that I wrote way back in 2012. And so it was, it was done in New York in 2013 uh, off Broadway. And then, um, and then Jim Parsons and his company optioned it uh, and hired me to write the adaptation. You know, it sort of got me thinking, wow, you know, what would it have been like for my parents if they were raising that same kid today? It's a very different you know, world in a way that's really exciting, but also presents new challenges for parents that they've never faced before and there's no roadmaps. Um, and and so I think that was, but certainly I think because it reminded me of, of aspects of my own childhood and there were certain experiences that either things I remembered or things that had been told to me because of course when you're that young it's, it's hard to distinguish between what your memories are and what um, what your parents have told you but there was certainly a personal connection there um, that when I was sort of getting into the research and, and, and sort of reading other people's experience there was always something in it you know that, that felt very um, personal to me. We're here wrapping up at Toronto's Inside Out LGBTQ Film Festival and I wanted to let you guys know that I had the best time meeting the directors and the writers of a film titled A Kid Like Jake. And it's an awesome film. I really hope you guys go out and see it in a theater near you. It's about gender exploration and gender inclusivity through a family. And it's, uh, it's going to make me emotional talking about it. But I really hope you guys check it out. And that's a wrap. So I'm your host, Blair Ryder, also known as Rachel Railing. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and thanks at Look TV.